Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky and I just love looking at this like city of lights and moving things and conveyor belts and all the things and all the stuff. It's great. So we're having greatness happen. It's fabulous. Um, yeah, and we're, we're getting ready to do more things. So in the last episode, we finished setting up all of these refineries and such and things for making yellow science at I believe one per second. Let me go and check our calculator. Yes, we had one item per second happening with that. We also decided to set up some hydrogen fuel rods, which is gonna help us with flying our mech. I'm gonna go ahead and take these. I think I wanna have half this amount uh, because we're not gonna be using hydrogen fuel cells for long, I hope. Now there are many, many things that we need to do here. Um, and I'm guessing where, where's planetary logistics system? Is that somewhere? Oh, it's already, we already got it. Hooray. We need to figure out if we can make these things. Um, we need many of them because this is going to be the beginning of our new mall. Uh, I decided after last series, uh, where the mall was very, very integrated and stuff, um, it was almost too integrated because we had to get many like spaghetti belts getting out to fill uh, fill the towers with those materials. So in this series, I aim to kind of like build around that limitation of five items per tower, which is the interstellar limit, since all of these things will be going interstellar eventually. All right, we just got the deuteron, oh, deuteron fuel cells, pardon me. Um, the green ones, those are really good but we need deuterium for those. And I would really like to set up some fractionators. Now we need to look up what, oh, we, we have to look up everything. There is everything involved today. So we're, <laughs> we're gonna do all the things. So fractionators, um, one of the things that we are severely lacking are these processors. And for those, we are going to need a component we have not built yet, which is the microcrystalline component. Now, I don't remember, I think we did have a little bit of silicon on our other planet on um, Mew 1549. Did I remember right? I don't remember. But anyway, um, I would like to make some of these things on our other planet, which I think was Kethlin. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I think it's a very good idea to do so. We have some uh, fluids that I don't know. Should I bother getting rid of them? Maybe, maybe not. I guess I can. I'll just go and put them in their respective containers and see if... Okay, so we get all of this stuff in there and then all of this. Oops, I wanted to not do that. Oh, there we go. Go. I forgot that I have to actually hold click. That is a very strange thing to me that I have to hold click that. I think it should be just like drag and drop rather than like pouring it in because everything else is drag and drop. So it feels a bit strange. Okay, these things need plastic. I'll go ahead and give this whatever else I have. Um, all right, and what do we have as far as fuel goes? All right, so we do have a little bit of graphite. I think I'll just take this out. And instead, we'll just go ahead and burn some of that. Actually, do we need to burn any of this? Really? I don't think so. I think, I think the call here is to just give it to machines that will love it for who it is and what it stands for. And get rid of all of this graphite. And instead, uh, use the hydrogen fuel rods uh, all together. So yeah, go ahead and take this stuff, please. I don't know if we'll be able to get rid of it this way. We might just have to go and stick it in our dump box, but that's gonna be all right as well. So I'm thinking I want to make those microcrystalline components, those little new chips that we got on the other planet. So that's going to necessitate some uh, finagling here or there put these back I just want to kind of get rid of some of the things like an oil extractor we don't need that not at the moment let's put this in here and do we need refineries probably not not on that planet and neither chemical planets plants not planets <laughs> not whole planets oh no <laughs> uh, we also won't need the thermal plant what else? We're not storage tanks. 
Let's see, we are gonna need boxes, we're gonna need assembling machines and smelters, miners, yes. And I think we're pretty good on other stuff. I'm gonna take kind of a minimal amount of stuff there. I don't really wanna carry all this junk. This and this can go in that box instead, since I don't plan to pick that back up when I come back here. Okay, and then we're going to take a whole bunch of wind mines, because that's going to be important to us. I don't know, this many? That should be enough, I think. I don't know. Uh, let's see, and also miners. Oopsies. See, there we go. Okay. So let's go and lift off and go and make those new things because we really want to start making processors. Okay. Hello. 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 Where are we going? Okay, so we're going to Kethlin, which is quite far away, actually. It is me, 1549. And okay, there we go. But you can see how much faster our uh, energy bar is refilling. That's because of the new hydrogen fuel rods. This is really nice. So I'm just going to keep on putting my pedal to the metal, so to speak, trying to get there. It's It's gone off quite a far way away. This is like, whoa, rough. Let's see if we can find out any information about Kethlin while we're waiting. So Kethlin is... Oh, 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 turn this around, please. Hello. Okay, it's all the way over there. It is an Ashen Jellisol. I love these planets. They are very cool to look at. Um, they, yeah, they're just really cool. And this one has quite a lot of silicon. It doesn't have much copper. So <laughs> I was planning to make the chips over there, but we will see. Maybe that's not going to be an option. Um, by the way, the devs just added a patch to change the filtering on your uh, sorters and such where um, it no longer need, uh, uses tab to go between them. It's the arrow keys left and right. I don't know if I'm a fan or not. I haven't tried it yet, but I feel I don't like when any game uses arrow keys because they're so far away and uh, they're neither convenient for the mouse hand nor the, um, the left hand. So I might rebind those if that's possible. And uh, wow, this is a very long flight, isn't it? And our max speed is 1000 meters per second. Uh, so we're just going to chill out, have a nice time gliding through the galaxy. It's great. Great. Gliding is great. Let's aim down there, maybe. But um, last time I had an Ash and Jealous Old Planet, they were just, it was just so like... I don't know, atmospheric or moody or something. Let's see if this one is similar. I'm curious now to see if it's if it's gonna be the same or not. But here we go. Crash landing. Um oh. Ooh, it's a bit different. It's kind of more blue glowy. I remember the other one as being more grey, I think. I'm not sure, but anyway, okay, so let's go north. Uh okay, north, northy north is here. All right, um, we want to find silicon next to copper, if we can. There's copper down there, and I think that's all we got. Yep, this is our only copper, but it is very near the silicon. So if we go near the South Pole, life is going to be a tiny bit better. This has a better solar energy ratio than wind ratio, but we have no solar plants because we didn't build any. Uh, we could try to... I think we might actually do that. We might actually build some here. So let's go... Uh, I think this is toward the South Pole. Let's see. I hope. Hello? South Pole? Are you it? Wait. Where, why am I not seeing the pole stick? Hello? Doesn't it usually have a... I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, all right, so anyway, we have uh, some silicon and stone, and there's the copper. That's what we want here. Now let's check out how to build these solar panels, because I feel like they're better right now than the wind mines. Even though we're going to have to use some wind mines to get stuff going, just because we don't have much else. So these need silicon and copper, and a bit of circuits. So if we look at our map mode again, uh, do we have any iron? Oh yeah, we have some iron close by as well. That's very nice. Oh, and there's some down here too. So we have many things in close proximity. 
So I think I'm going to build, let's build a tiny solar panel factory first. I want to do that. So we're going to go, first of all, to the iron mine right over here. And build, let's see, I'm just going to build very small, really not much to go on because we don't need much. We, oops, excuse me. I tried to, that, there. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, there we go. Mining machine, hooray. And then we're going to have a tiny belt. Yep, sure. I guess we can just not have that much of a belt. We only need a little bit here. And that's, we're going to make it in a smelter. Maybe we'll get two smelters here. Inventory capacity is up. Hooray! I love more inventory capacity. That's good. I like. Okay. Oh, I forgot to buy inserters at the mall. Oh, no. But I think we have enough. We'll, we'll, we'll have enough. It'll be fine. Uh, okay, we need one more belt over there. Let's move that on here. And let's get a power pole. I think, yeah, that will cover all of them. That's very nice. And here, we're just going to start some wind mines right here. Because that's what we got. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Good, good. Okay, so we're going to have a so small wind farm over here, which is great. Okay. And one left. We'll just put that one down and then go about the rest of our business. Okay, so this is coming there. We need... Where is our copper? It's probably over there there i think oh it's over there all right yep yep turny bits and all um okay so uh, this is the fun part we're gonna take this belt and possibly diagonal it crazy wait hello ah there we go there's the diagonal craziness hooray i don't know how crazy we want to be but we can get kind of crazy actually. Oh, it's out of building range. Where is the copper? Okay, so we can actually go through here. Let's go this way. Just go right through the middle of these two deposits. Yeah. We'll just start this. This is this is a nuts belt, isn't it? It's great. <laughs> this is great. I am loving this new diagonal thing. It's like you can cut through the whole you know, all the things. Cut through the grids. No more grids. Hooray. It's really quite useful, actually. It enables us to save a lot of belts. Definitely a lot of belts. Okay. Would be nice to get some more robot speed or robot orders or more robots or something about robots. Let's see. I'm going to go a little bit here like this and then diagonal this. Uh, oopsies. There we go. Tab. There we are. Diagonal this up here, I think. Something like that. Okay, and here's our silicon, which we're also going to need to get going. Oh, what if we had parallel diagonal belts? That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Okay, so this is going to go into the thing the assemblers making the green chips. Now then, here I want to make probably... We definitely want to have many more miners and we'll see how many we can support, uh, how many smelters we can support. Okay, so the, here's one. We want to do as many as possible because we need as much copper as possible. Okay, good. Nice. Can I sneak another one in there? Yeah. Barely. Barely, but yes. Now then. Um, 
Let's find out how many veins we have. Seven, five, twelve, and nineteen. More than nineteen. Twenty-six. Uh, thirty. Thirty-five. And forty-one. That will support twenty smelters. Now our belt can carry twelve items a second. So we need two belts for this. And I guess, let's see, this one has... Jeez, I forgot. Let's see. Okay, let's just six, five, that's eleven. Um, fifteen. Fifteen and seven is twenty-one. Okay, so these four can be on one belt and the others will be on another belt. Let's see, we'll go here. Oh, okay, we can't do that just yet. So we're gonna need two belts in this smelting column, which is okay. We can ha we're gonna have a lot of copper from that, so that's nice. Okay. Now where do we want to put all this stuff? Um, maybe we could go to the left and have it return on the right. That is an option. I think that might be a good option. Okay, let's just do that. Let's have them go this way. And then the return belt can be on the other side. And then we'll have another belt on this side. And that will be for the next set of miners. Nice. Okay, good, good. All right, let me see. Let's get this over here and one over there. Okay, very nice. Now then, uh, one thing we haven't done is connect that to our main power grid, um, but we'll get there. So let's see, copper, I think copper is one per second, but let's check. So we have copper bars, yeah, one per second. So that means on this belt, we need 12 smelters. And let's see, one, two, three, wait. We'll just do it from this end. One, two, three, and here we are. Of course, at the end there, one, two, three, and here we are. At the end, I think we want to go up. So this might be, let's see, let's go up. There we are, ah, that's perfect. And then we can cross over here and then go down there. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so that's going to be our return belt. And we'll just grab... I was going to copy the other one, but it's way too far away. <laughs> so, nope, not doing that. And I think we could support 20 smelters, so we can do 10 each. However, we could, we could actually put in uh, 12 each because that's the number of belts and as we get more mining productivity my calculations are without mining productivity uh, so that's going to be, and, and mining speed so I think that it's a good idea that we put a full 12 miners here so that's three four let's see five six seven eight nine ten eleven oh very close you know what i want to do with this one though i want to change this actually i want to uh x okay there we go x that one and x that one because i want to put power poles in between and i kind of forgot about that hello there we go There we go. And I turned uh, the diagonal snapping back on just there because of um, the way the curvature is. It's actually a little bit difficult to, to align that. So this is the wrong direction. All right, there we go. And then we just make sure one, two, three, and there we go across. And that's gonna be ending up over there which is great 
And I'll go ahead and queue up some power poles to be in this area. So let's see, these are over to there. Can we get away with this many? Probably not. I think we need one there. Does that one help that? Yes, it does. Okay. Very nice. So let's grab these. We need one at the end. And then rotate. And then here we are. Wait, that's much fewer. Oh no. Oh no, that's because of the spacing of the grids. Oh, look at that. Okay, so how many do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need three more here. But it's there's a lot more space between each one. So that's something we need to take care of. One, two, three. And just make sure that's correct. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's right now. Perfect. Alright. Gonna add some more power. Because we definitely need it. Good. There we are. Okay. I don't know if those are connected. Are they? I can't tell. Yeah, they are. They are connected. Okay, so this is... They're, they're all quite happy. I don't know if they're connected together. Let's... Ah, oh yeah. We need another one there. Alrighty. So we have lots of copper happening. Um, and though most of that copper is going to go toward um, the the special chips, which are these guys over here, the microcrystalline components. We're going to siphon a few off for making the green circuits, which are going to go into the solar panels. So solar panels need four green circuits each. Um, so that's going to be, let's see, I don't know even how to do this other than maybe, maybe we need to do a, I think I'm just going to make a splitter here. I think that's the best idea of what we that we can do here and just make a different configuration yeah that's perfect um, and so that we get full throughput we're gonna have both of these belts coming in and we're gonna have two belts coming out uh, whoops let's go hello oh wait that's that's above right so I think yeah we're gonna have to figure out how we want to do this all right Let's get two machines making the green circuits because we want the overflow to go to other things anyway. You know what? I'm going to have this bottom belt, I think, come out, come out to another splitter, to a splitter splitter. Yeah, there we are that way uh, with a, you know, fast belt there and a slow belt out this way and this is where I'm gonna make the uh, circuits yeah circuits and then afterward we can make the uh, the solar panels yeah okay this is good this is very good and I want to put another belt here like that okay and let's get our makers. There we go. We're gonna go, let's go a little bit to the left of that other belt because we don't quite want that there. I think I'm going to change this a tiny bit. Okay, what I wanna do is make this belt kinda go like this and then go up and around because I'm not sure what I want to do in here, but having it a little bit more square is actually better at the moment for that. So now uh, let's get some stuff going on here. Let's go input, output, and this are going to be our green circuits. And we're going to get two of these. Okay. And then we want another one to make the solar panels. But we need to change this thing. Don't need that many. And instead get a different thing going on here. So let's see. Let's get this one. Oh, can you clear this, please? I don't like having to press uh, to clear this. 
every time. Like, I think if it comes from the menu, it should not have anything attached at all. Like, nothing. I don't know why it kind of retains that. Because I feel like if I wanted it copied, I would just hold on to the copy. Um, okay. So let's see. We can have solar panels here. And we're going to get the copper from this last belt. Uh, and then the green circuits from the one next to it. So, there we go. Now these things are making... Let's see. Every one second it makes two. And this one is... Alright. It makes every five seconds it makes one. Uh, but it needs four of those. So that's two seconds of processing to make four. So I think it is not one to one ratio but close enough pretty close enough so i want to get uh, another belt here for the silicon which is going to come in here this away i think i'll just go like that oh be that really sexy diagonal right there beautiful and then output this or input that there and then we can output this on another line going this way why does this look funny? Look at what it's doing. Oh, this is a diagonal. It's a diagonal on a straight line, but it's diagonal because the planet, it's not following the planet curvature where you can see these are parallel and these two are not. And that's because I did not undiagonalize it. That's funny. Oh, game, you sneaky. All right. <laughs> That seems nice. Okay, so what we're going to do is put in another one of these inserters there. Let's copy this and paste it over here. Let's leave a little bit of room for a power pole. And then we are going to have a box. So box is going to be right there. Yeah, box will be there. And it doesn't matter if it's out of line. I am I want it to be closer. And... If we are going to expand this, we're going to have to move the box anyway. So it really doesn't matter if it's right there or not. That was very calculated. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so silicon's going to come in here. Okay, miners are going to be heating up over there. Let me go ahead and put some wind mines down over here. And just get those going. It's not much power, but it's something... And I'm going to connect it to the other wind mine farm that we have on the other side as well. Oh, why are they red? Oh, it's red because it's probably not um, satisfying the network, I bet. Probably this doesn't. So we can go down here. There we go. Okay. So something is happening. That's good. Happening is good. Now here we have our silicon and we're gonna need to mine a fair amount of this for those special chips. Um, and I've been kind of waiting to connect the power because we're gonna have to connect it kind of through this mine area. So it seemed like a very natural thing to kind of wait for this to happen. Now this time I'm gonna count a little bit differently or better. And as soon as we reach uh, 12, I'm going to put down a belt. Because that makes sense to me. As in, connect the ones with a belt. Okay, so that's that. Mm. We can have some smelting going on over here. This is going to be an interesting thing. Uh, now, uh, where are we going to take the copper? That's an important question, actually. We need to have the two belts of copper coming from here. Maybe they need to go this way? Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, I'm wondering how this... Okay, the best, the easiest thing might be... No, that wouldn't be easy either. No, 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 no. Okay. I think we need to take this one and raise it up one or possibly two. OK, 
Okay, there we go. And that can connect there. Okay, and then these guys, the copper, are with the faster belts coming in. Okay. But they're going to go to like here and then start going up. Yep. On this one, <laughs> this one's, this is fun. This has got to go down and then up. Down and then up. Here. Yep. Okay. Fine. Okay. And then we can kind of organize this around there. And then this is going to be our silicon coming in. Now then, how do we want to do that? I guess we'll bring it kind of in line with these, uh, these machines. So we'll have an in belt here. And then one, two, three, and then an out belt here. I guess that works. So I want to make sure that we can connect up that out belt to this area here. Let's go up. Okay, can we? Yeah, we can. Beautiful. Okay. Now then, I want to connect this, and this is going to be reversed. So we'll put that down here. And this is going to process the silicon. Okay, let's get that into here and make silicon bars. This is exciting. Okay, so let's see. These things are not working. No, that's not what we want. We want to have, yeah, silicon bars from silicon nuggets. All right, so these take two seconds to process two, uh, two pieces of ore. So it's gonna be half the amount. So instead of 12, we need six in a line instead of 12. Let's see, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's gonna be one full line of silicon. Let me just delete this part. And then we'll, we'll get that organized in a different way, I think. And I'm not sure how I wanna do this. I actually think that I need, I need to do something different here. I think I need to move these copper lines or no, I just need to redo the entire thing. I think, okay, time to get out the big guns here. Yep. Get out all of this stuff. <laughs> okay. So what I had a thought of is maybe I should take this, uh, this line and lift it. Cause I think that's a better idea. Uh, like lift it up here. Oops. No, there we go. And over to there and then down here like that. That way, many things can pass underneath, uh, including the silicon if we want it to. Now, uh, having said that, we have copper that wants to go here as well. So I think we're gonna put that this way. Maybe leave a space in between. Hold on. What is it? R? R. Yeah. R to rotate this stuff. We'll just leave that there for now. Just to kind of give ourselves a sense of what is going on here. Um, now, how do we want to do the silicon connection? That's the hard bit. I wish we could reverse belts because I would like build up from this side instead. But um, what I want to do actually is use one of these and that will make our lives significantly easier, I feel. So if I do something like, um, actually, what do we want to do here? Something like this, potentially? Maybe, maybe not. Hmm. It has to go to the third level. This might actually be too close for our comfort here. Oh no, it could be fine. It could be fine, I don't know. Let's see what we can do with this silliness here. All right, this is gonna be going up one. Okay, so it goes there. 
And then we can diagonal it over here. Like that. This is going to be the most bizarre. Okay, so this is belt art with Catherine of Sky. Did I mention I'm the belt diva? Mm, not today yet. Uh, that is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this has got to be the bait greatest belt we've ever made so far. <laughs> Take a left at Albuquerque, right? <laughs> it's not technically a left, but... <laughs> well, it could be a left, I guess, if we go, like, this way. Yeah, left. Take a left at Albuquerque, indeed. All right, so that's fun. Uh... <laughs> so good. All right, let's find 12... Uh, belt 12 thingies so that's four so we need uh, 24 veins to fill a belt so we have six and four is ten uh, 15 15 and nine is a lot that's actually 24 right there so let's grab this fun stuff uh, okay take this into 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 not that apparently because it doesn't work let's get this again it's interesting I do like both of those tools that they've given us for deletion it's a nice thing nice thing to have them Okay, that's the way we got to do it. There we go. So these are going to interact with a different mining array, I think. And the others will be on the other side. I don't think it matters much how much we have. We have 7, 13, uh, a 20, and 25. Wow, that's kind of perfect. Wow, good stuff today. Good stuff. Uh, let's go here and then grab this one to go there. Get out our diagonals again and go up here. Okay, that's okay. It looks a little bit strange, but I think it'll be fine. Okay. And then go this way and then up here. All right, looking fabulous. Now then, let's get these guys connected up here and start the long power pole connection that we're going to need to have here and i did not put power poles yet between here but that is one of our things we're going to do right now okay so let's see what do we have actually going on here we have um half a belt of silicon happening oh no really Okay, fine. Apparently I did it the wrong way. I did it the wrong way. It's okay though. Don't worry. Do not worry. I kind of wish that there was like a select and R rotate like um, Factorio has uh, with with um, inserters. So you could just like reverse two of them. That would be really nice. Okay, let's get these guys in and out. Hooray. Okay. And we'll just connect them all again and then we'll copy this whole thing over here so this is going to be our in belt one two three and our out belt okay and that's going to connect over there very nicely let's take this up this way and do a tiny parallel ish belt there we go that's looking nice and add oh no it's colliding oh no okay really there's no thingy at the end oh dear we're short a sorter this is sad times Let's see if we can build one yeah we can build one we can build exactly one hooray all right let's go and build one then Lack of it. Why are we lacking an item? Oh, because we need these. Whoops. All right. Sorry. I also want to kind of build like many of these. We need many more. 
Oh wow, that's a lot of motors we're making, but it's okay. We're gonna be fine. All right, so there's our second thing. And now we're gonna be able to get a full belt of stuff going on here. So let's see, we have gotten here and now we need to just add power pole, power poles, I should say, going back to the other area. I'm gonna make them kind of go along this belt line. That's gonna help us keep track of where the power poles are uh, and kind of connect onto anything that's gonna come nearby, like maybe that stone vein or this stone vein, one of those. All this stone, you know what that means? Uh -huh. That means solar sails. I really wanna get the solar sails going early because it's gonna be great. I'm gonna get so much done with that. All right, I am running away from my robots. I am proud to tell you because we're, they, we are secretly part of the Robot Abandonment League. <clears throat> Never mind about the mushroom particle broadband. Mm -hmm. Robot Abandonment League. That is going to be our hashtag, I think, for this series. <laughs> what is that? R A L? R A L. I hope it doesn't stand for anything weird or something, but R A L is going to be our, our hashtag if you want to write that in the comments section. <laughs> As always, the comments are very much appreciated by me because they interact with the YouTube algorithm uh, in a way that gives us. Um, the ability to be seen on YouTube, which is kind of nice. I like, uh, you know, when people can see our channel, it's great. Uh, all right, so now we have, uh, the next thing we're doing is making these lovely uh, microcrystalline components, which is two silicon and one copper. Now I haven't mathed any of this out yet. Uh, and I guess I probably should. I uh, The thing that we do have here, is we have one full belt of silicon, which is gonna be shared. So that is 12 items per second. Okay, so let's figure out how many of these things we can support with 12 items a second. Whoopsies. I'm gonna go to F land. Um, <laughs> where is it? They are here. All right, so they need one item per second of silicon, right? So we can make 12 of these things because I, f I fully expect the solar panels to fill up and then they're gonna be done. We're gonna make maybe four stacks. Sure, that's plenty enough. I don't think we need any more than that for now. So that's going to be what we're going to get into, I think. Now, what we can do is something even sneakier here. Yes, we're going to do something sneakier. We're actually <laughs> we're gonna do something bad. Look what we're doing. We're deleting the storage anyway. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it had to happen. It did happen. Okay, so we're also gonna delete these uh, sorters. And it's okay if we deleted the box because the box is going bye bye any, well, we're gonna need these solar panels anyway. That's what we're needing. So box goes here, I'm gonna put that back. See, I should have followed my own parameters, what I normally do, and then I wouldn't have this problem, you know? Like, hello, KOS, come on. So we're outputting there, inputting there, uh, outputting there, inputting there. Okay, now I can be extremely sneaky and move these copper things and align our new thingy with here. This is gonna be kind of nice. It's gonna be just a shared thing that we can uh, use. Let's go ahead and grab, oh, yeah. I think I just, okay. Let's grab this and then oh, it. There we are, excuse me. And we'll put one, I think maybe just starting right here. Sure, why not? There's no reason why not. Ah, uh, we didn't, I don't, I didn't want to copy it. Thingy, come on. I wanted a plain one. When I choose the menu, I choose plain, please. Give us a break. Okay, here we go. And we decided we needed 12 of these. And wait, is this getting all the stuff it needs? Yes, it's just very low on power. 
So let's see, if we copy this here, we cannot put the thingy in the center. I just wanted to check alignment on that. So we're gonna put it on the right there. And then the copper is gonna come down on, it's clear that we have way too much copper, by the way, 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 way too much copper. Now is this level two belts? I didn't even look. Nope, this is level one. We need to upgrade this. There we go. And then we're going to have the belt out going th this way, maybe. Yeah. Let's have it going that way. And then if we want to have a tower out there, we can. All right. We want an input of this and an output of that. So we're going to copy this uh, thingy over here and then just take these belts along. So we need 12 of these machines, I think we decided. I don't know how long 12 is gonna be, but long enough, long enough. And what does it take to make processors? Okay, so we're gonna need, <laughs> well, look at that. We need some more green chips for that. But I'm wondering if we should just ship these back to the main base. Okay, let's count these up. That's three, six, seven, uh, eight. Come on, come on, little thingies. Put stuff down. Let's go. Nine. No. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. All right. Okay, that is that. Let's put in some power. There we go. All right, so now we're making stuff. And what I'm gonna do right now is put them in a box because we don't have much else we can do with them at the moment. So I think it's best to just shove them in a box and call it good. I'm gonna go ahead and put two inserters on the line here. And that way we can get quite an amount of these. And possibly, and I think what we're gonna do is just take them back, uh, take them back home. But what I'm gonna do right now is pick a bunch off the belt. We might need three inserters there now that I'm looking at this. See, I have, hundred hey that's pretty great what i'm gonna do with these hundred guess what is make processors i'm gonna make a bunch of like a whole bunch of okay and okay this is is this keeping up yeah i guess it is it looks like it's keeping up we are a tiny bit short on the silicon it looks like because why Looks like there's a slow, oh, there's a slow belt right there. Oh my goodness, that is so sneaky. Snuck right by me. Mm -mm. <laughs> so let's go and put down a few more. Uh, actually, let's put down some solar panels. Let's find the, um, yep, the edge of the world here. And see. Okay, uh, what do we got here with... We need to check the orbital inclination. Oh, it's perfect. So yeah, it's, so it's like five and, and three, which is eight, which is a very, very good orbital inclination for putting solar panels on the poles. Um, poles are always a better place to put solar panels uh, because it is light, um, well, 100% of the time or most of that time. I can't wait to try this. This is, huh? What do you mean colliding with other objects? Huh? Oh, are these, can I, let's see if I shift, hold on. Is it control? Shift? No, not that either. Tab? Huh. I don't know why this is not working as it should. Uh, but anyway, if you put solar panels on the belt of the planet, as in the equator, 
they will always be off, always, for at least 50% of the time. In this way, you can save your solar panels and not have to build cabillions of them. I do wish I could build them a little bit closer. It is looking a bit strange though, I have to say. Are these on a different... No, they look the same. Hmm. Not quite like understanding why they are not fitting there. But anyway, um, and it's very much the same for once you get your dishes out into the world. Okay, lack of items. All right, so I don't have any more, but that's okay. We're, we're doing great. But yeah, um, putting them on the pull is always better um, in terms of energy efficiency and production efficiency of your particular solar panels. All right, so we have made all the things and all the stuff. We have many of these guys. I'm going to go ahead and pick up a bunch of them. I think... I think we're going to leave a very small amount undone here. Um, but what I want to do is start getting some other things made. Wow, we have we have too many of these. Let's have one row, I think. Let's go and put down some more, maybe. Do we have enough power? Hey, almost. We almost do. We almost do. But I can definitely uh, envision making more of this sil silicon and shipping it to other planets. It's going to be pretty important for getting a lot of things made. Uh, so it's it's really critical that we kind of get that out there. Okay. This is so handy. It is so much dang faster than than before. Oh, this is good. I is a happy person. I is a happy KOS with this stuff. Yay. This is nice. Oh, oh, whoops. Okay, I forgot that it... I wish it would ignore the red ones. I wish that if there was a red thing, you could just it would just ignore it. As in, like, let me just put it there. I just want to, like, spam this and be done instead of having to, okay, let's go past the red one back to the regular one. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, we're getting a little bit of energy here from these solar panels. This is good. There we go. Nice. And as you see, this is a winter zone and we're still getting uh, light on the dark side of the planet here. And that's because we have such a nice, um, we have the good orbital inclination, but it's also at the poles. That's the reason we have that. So it's, it's working really nicely there. Okay. So are we, wait a second, are we not getting enough of this? You know what I miscalculated? I think. Did I miscalculate on this? It looks like it's... Oh, jeez. I think I need double the amount of smelters here. I think I miscalculated this. Is it one per second? It is one per second. Ah, uh, but it needs two to work. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm. that was my bad. My silliness. Let's fix this real quick. Because apparently we didn't do it the right thing. Okay, it'll be fine though. It'll be fine. Let's go get this one there. Okay. And then I just want to delete this part and delete this part. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's get this done. Ah, oh, my goodness. I can't believe I miscalculated that. Sometimes the numbers just like jump around in my head. It drives me crazy. Um. I'm really good at math, but uh, when you have these like number jump, jump in, I need to find a name for that. The whole like, I, I usually call it like chronic flipsia <laughs> because the numbers just flip around in my head. Oh no, we're short of furnaces as well. Oh no, we're running out of stuff. Can we make things? Maybe. Yeah, we can, we can. Can I eat up some chips from the thingy? I can, probably. Okay, let's eat up these guys from the belt. There we go. We have 36, 40, whatever. Okay. And I just want to make more of these guys. 
Okay, I don't know if I have enough now. How many do we have? Let's see, we have seven, and this is gonna be more than that. Do we have enough inserters? Oh, we have 57, yeah, that's plenty. Okay, so let's just get that going. And as we're making, we'll be able to plop them down. So here we have six, so seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And this is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and uh, yes, 12, good. Let's get our, I need one line to come this way. That's gonna be the inside line here. I have a sneaking suspicion. Yep, went right through that power pole. Not ideal. Let's take this one up and over. Excellent. Okay, so now this should be working a tiny, tiny bit better now that we've actually done things properly. It does look like we have enough power poles, so we don't need to worry about that. Ah, oh, this is great. This is actually working very nicely. Hooray. Oh, oh, we have dust happening. Much dust? Is that? I feel like that's the first dust we've kicked up. Either that or I have been incredibly unnoticing of this feature. <laughs> oh my goodness. Research speed too slow. Oh no. I'm actually curious what's going on with that. We need to find out and see if something is stopped or not. But in the meantime, I think we've done a pretty good job getting all of this new stuff going on here. And we can happily go back to our main base with some processors in hand to make things. And I'm really excited about making the things and the stuff. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.